All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We got to listen to this lovely clip. Uh, I just learned something, and I'm hoping that you also learned something. So please pay close attention, um, and you might learn something. Here we go. Here, the water word, and this is not something we made up later. This is from a hadith of the Prophet. Here, water is referencing to sperm. Otherwise, when water comes out, we don't have to go make ghusl. That has to do with jama'ah or intercourse, right? So, Ibn Abbas is talking about when you talk about the building back block for human beings to be free to negotiate, then the water in reference there is to sperm. When we talk about water as a building block for all of the universe, for all of the things, then you know Ibn Abbas doesn't mean that a male and female sperm was there before. When we talk about al ma in Arabic, not elements here, one of the references to that is to sperm. That's why the Prophet ﷺ in the authentic hadith said, when the water comes out, then ghusl is obligated. You understand? So, here the water word, and this is not something we made up later. This is from a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Here water is referencing to sperm. Otherwise, when water comes out, we don't have to go make ghusl. That has to do with jama'ah or intercourse. Right? So Ibn Abbas is talking about when you talk about the building back block for human beings to be free to negotiate, then the water in reference there is to sperm. When we talk about water as a building block for all of the universe, for all of the things, then you know Ibn Abbas doesn't mean that a male and female sperm was there before. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, maybe it's just me. I mean, I am getting old in age, but. I could have sworn at the beginning he said it refers to two sperm. Like two sperm? What is two sperm? I'm assuming he's he's referring to two sperms and not a sperm. And the reason I say this, right afterwards he goes, You don't really think Ibn Abbas was referring to the male and female sperm. Now, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that was a slip of the tongue. I just think that Muslims, according to all the sources that I've seen that deal with the embryology, especially the verse that talks about the uh, backbone and the ribs, it's talking about women having sperm, sexual discharge, fluids that come together. Now, this video is not about doing a... Um, a mini course on embryology and the stupidity in the Quran. I just thought it was pretty funny that he mentioned a male and female sperm while talking to David. Now, David wasn't paying attention because I would have jumped on that like CP would have jumped on it. What do you mean male and female sperm? Uh, do females have sperm? I mean, David didn't even ask the question to see if the guy would clarify and, and see if he made a mistake. Again, I don't think the guy made a mistake. Now, this is the guy who, on David's channel, all the Muslims are claiming that David doesn't know what he's talking about, that David lost. And I'm just, I'm just over here laughing. I think I've done, what, three videos, four with this one? Exposing the stupidity. Everything is created from water. Well, we know that is pure BS. Uh, the first thing that Allah created was the was water in in the, in the throne. I showed three hadiths that say the first thing that Allah created, according to Muhammad, uh, was the pen. So are they going to say that Muhammad lied, or are they going to throw the hadiths under the bus? Because all three of them were Sahih hadiths. Now, I didn't even bother to find one from Sunnah. I'm sorry, from Sahih uh, Muslim or Sahih Bukhari, because they were all graded. Sahih, and one of them was from Una Abdu'a. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned. Uh, ladies, uh, apparently you have a pair of balls that you don't know about. They must be some hidden magical balls that are creating sperm for you. And on that note, I'm going to take an exit left. Please like, subscribe, and we'll do it again. I'm sure I'll find some other good stuff out there.